In this video I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of using a grazing muzzle on your horse or pony. This information will be quite different from what you've heard or read elsewhere. We, Stuart and I, Equiculture, specialise in the subject of equine grazing behaviour. We've worked with horses and their owners in many countries all around the world. I, Jane, carried out research about the grazing behaviour of horses at the University of Edinburgh and together we're the authors of several books that teach you how to keep your horses healthy and happy, save you time and money, and do good things for the environment, all at the same time, a win-win-win when you get it right. Grazing muzzles are generally used to restrict a horse's or a pony's grass intake, not to prevent a horse from eating altogether. Indeed, you should never restrict a horse from eating altogether, and if you didn't know this, make sure you do our free Horse Grazing Characteristics video course. See the link with this video. Research has shown that grazing muzzles can reduce intake by up to 80%, so they do reduce intake very effectively. Grazing muzzles have very definite pros and cons, and people tend to feel very strongly one way or the other about them. This short video goes through these pros and cons. It includes a few that you've probably never heard before, so keep watching. Starting with the pros. Using a grazing muzzle means that the horse can still live with their herdmates and socialise with them, as opposed to them being locked up on their own, which leads to high levels of stress. Remember, horses are herd animals. Socialisation is very important and horses are not meant to live on their own. Also, and more research is needed on this subject, studies have shown that stress may lead to weight gain and illness, so it can be counterproductive to try to force a horse to lose weight by locking them up and restricting feed. While a horse is socialising, he or she is usually also moving, if they're grazing together with other horses, so an added bonus of using a grazing muzzle and allowing turnout is the extra movement. Using a grazing muzzle means that feed intake can be more even throughout the day and night rather than a pattern of low intake followed by high intake and possibly gorging, which tends to happen if a horse is yarded or stabled on restricted food and then turned out for a short grazing period each day. By using a grazing muzzle for say a three hour grazing bout and then allowing the horse to have free access to very low energy forage the rest of the time in a yard, is better than having periods with no access to forage at all, followed by periods with access to forage. Using a grazing muzzle means that the horse, and this is only our observation, it's not been studied scientifically yet, is forced to eat the part of the plant that is lower in sugar. Pasture plants are generally higher in sugar nearer the base of the plant. A grazing muzzle forces the horse to eat only the leaves higher up the plant, and this part of the plant is proportionately lower in sugar and higher in fibre. The cons of using a grazing muzzle. A typical horse paddock has roughs and lawns. The roughs are the areas where horses drop their manure and where they usually avoid grazing. This is because the roughs contain more parasitic worm larvae due to the manure. At Equiculture, we teach you how to minimise or eliminate roughs and lawns in a paddock which vastly reduces worms and increases pasture production, etc. The lawns are the areas that are usually overgrazed and therefore consist of only short and stressed grass plants. In a paddock that has marked roughs and lawns, a horse wearing a grazing muzzle is forced to eat only in the roughs. A horse wearing a grazing muzzle will not be able to graze in the lawns because the plants in there are too short to come up through the base of the muzzle. Unless the pasture plants are just the right length, the horse will not be able to graze at all and will become very stressed. So remember, if the plants are too short, they will not be able to reach the plant leaves through the base of the muzzle. Continuously trying to graze in this way can also cause abnormal wear of the front teeth. If the pasture plants are too tall, the stems will bend over and make it difficult for the horse to get them up through the base of the muzzle. So the plants should be upright and tall enough so that the horse can place the muzzle over them, the plants can come up through the hole in the base of the muzzle and the horse can clip them with their front teeth. 
If the plants are too long or too short, the horse will become very frustrated and therefore stressed. Then various abnormal behaviours may be seen. Some horses will give up trying to graze and will stand around listlessly. Some will bash the muzzle on the ground or try to rub it off on fixtures such as the fences or gate, which can lead to the horse getting caught up. They may even try to rub it off on another horse in the herd, which can lead to them being kicked and fights, etc. A grazing muzzle can reduce the horse's ability to smell and sift for different plants with their upper lip while grazing, which is how they normally graze. They simply have to eat what they can get up through the base of the muzzle, so they may eat plants that they would normally avoid, including poisonous plants. Remember that a horse may get colic if they're not getting enough fibre due to the acid that builds up in the gut when they don't get enough fibre or forage to buffer it. With a grazing muzzle there's a real danger that the horse will not be able to consume enough bulk fibre to keep the gut working properly. This is one reason why they should not wear one 24-7. If you didn't know that this can happen, colic due to not enough fibre, you need to do our free horse grazing characteristics video course. See the link with this video. Wearing a grazing muzzle will prevent the horse from mutual grooming with other herd members. Also, the muzzle can affect the herd dynamics because it masks some of the facial expressions and particularly the visual mouth movements that a horse makes when with other horses. It also restricts a horse's ability to defend themselves by warning other horses through those facial expressions. A grazing muzzle can cause rubbing and abrasions, especially in hot weather. Common areas for rubbing include on the pole, behind the ears, the top of the horse's muzzle, the lips and the points of the cheekbones. There are lots of cons compared to pros. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't use one, but it does mean that you definitely need to be aware of what can go wrong and you need to be aware of the restrictions that they cause to the horse's behaviour, etc. This way you can make an educated decision about if and when to use one. So if a horse is fitted with a grazing muzzle, they need to be checked more frequently than a horse that is not fitted with one. Check for a build-up of soil, sand, mud, etc. that can build up inside the muzzle. Check that the muzzle is not rubbing. Check that the horse is not being bullied. The horse should be interacting with their herd mates normally. Check that the horse can graze and drink properly. Check that the horse is not getting caught up on the fence or gate, etc., trying to rub it off, or indeed trying to rub it off on their herd mates. A grazing muzzle should have a breakaway section so that if the horse does get caught up and panics, the muzzle should come off. Also keep in mind that if the horse wears a grazing muzzle on a regular basis, the teeth should be checked more often for irregular wear. Restricting grass intake can be important for horses with a tendency to gain weight or that are susceptible to laminitis. However, at agriculture we tend to not advocate food restriction and concentrate on other ways to manage a horse's grass intake and weight. But we also recognise and understand that this is not a perfect world. For some people and their horses, using a grazing muzzle has been a lifesaver. Indeed, a number of our clients use them with great success. This short video does not cover how to fit a grazing muzzle, just the pros and cons of using one, but correct fitting is very important as a badly fitted muzzle can be a welfare issue. So if you are going to use one on your horse, make sure you get advice about fitting one properly. Hopefully this video has given you some things to think about and will help you and your horses to have a better lifestyle. As I already mentioned, we have a free mini course about horses and grazing. There's a link in the post with this video. This short video course will get you started on the subject of sustainable horse keeping. You'll learn about how you can save money, time and energy when keeping horses. You'll also learn about some of the things that are really important to your horse and about how you and your horses can help to save the environment. So make sure you sign up.